COVID and the pandemic are changing the way we understand hospitals. Hi, I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. The latest COVID surge fueled by the Omicron variant is taxing hospitals across Kern County in California. We are busy, our staff is affected. Adventist Health Bakersfield Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Gossin Jomaldine said. Even after the current variant has run its course, health officials expect the coronavirus to play a part in medical care years into the future. That assumption is spurring conversations about how our health care system works and how it doesn't. This is going to be an almost seismic shift, which we really were tiptoeing around in healthcare until COVID came and accelerated it, Dr. Jomaldine said. But there is some good news. According to Adventist Health Bakersfield President Daniel Wolcott, we're beginning to be better at taking care of patients outside the hospital and taking care of higher acuity patients outside the hospital. Adventist Health has taken strides in mobile care, improving telehealth, and developing mobile field clinics. Although there's a long way to go, Dr. Jomaldine believes that technology is going to shift more and more toward critical care. If you're critical, you'll go to a hospital. But if you're just sick, the hospital might come to you. Watch the entire video from kcet.com. The link is in the description below. What are some creative ways to observe Black History Month? Here are just a few. Visit a museum. History comes alive in our nation's museums, and many of these institutions have events, conferences, and celebrations surrounding Black History Month. Get out there and see firsthand the American nation's collective historical treasures, or take a virtual tour. Contact an elected official. One of the best ways to get the ball rolling toward a better society is by contacting members of Congress. Ask them what they have planned for Black History Month and what specific legislative actions they plan to take to ensure that your community never backtracks in its pledge to provide opportunities for each and every person. Read, read, and read some more. Libraries and bookstores, not to mention online booksellers, are positively overflowing with amazing works of black literature, history, and biography. Find a book about a piece of black history that you were previously unaware of and get educated. Recently, I spoke with Elder Leon Brown, the Executive Vice President of the Pacific Union Conference, about the importance of Black History Month. Elder Brown, I wonder if you can tell me how our being more attentive to black history has really benefited the church and its members? You know, Connie, that's an excellent question. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, I had an opportunity to review on uh, Martin Luther King Day to go back and look at some of Dr. King's speeches. And as I was looking at those speeches, I started thinking about and thinking about how the impact of the civil rights movement not just it not only benefited African Americans, but it, it benefited the entire American social structure because as we successfully walked through and were able to, to provide equality for African Americans, others would be able to benefit from that as well. And I think that same thing is happening in the church. We have, as we begin to struggle, that's why it's important to, to not negate the power of the struggle. Um, there were some, there were some that, that thought it was, we should, we should fight, others thought we should march peacefully. And the process of that created something that, that right now we are benefiting from. Yet the struggle is not over. And that's what we've learned lately. The struggle is not over. And we must continue now to, co to continue to look to the future to see, how, um, to see how we can be successful in creating true civil liberty for everyone in America. Amen. Well said. Thank you so much, Elder Brown, for being with us today and hope you come back soon on All God's People. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I love this text from Jeremiah. The Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. I will build you up again and you, Virgin Israel, will be rebuilt. Again, you will take up your timbrels and go out to dance with the joyful. May you feel his everlasting love today. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.